Okay, welcome to another edition of Duncan Act to End's Wall of Games. Going to focus on the Wii games. I don't have as many uh, Wii games as I do uh, other for the PS3 and Xbox 360. Just from this gen, I know they were the one of the largest selling consoles, but the games I felt were a lot of garbage. Um, so I tended to focus on things that piqued my interest. Arc Rise Fantasia, for instance. Baroque, uh, a roguelike RPG. Um, Castle of Shikigami. Now, this, that's just a fantastic game. Castle of Shikigami 2 was just so terrible that I loved it. <laughs> so I had to get Castle of Shikigami 3. Um, I think that was almost a day one purchase for me. The Conduit, I actually avoided getting that for so long. Uh, then I read some stuff on it that really piqued my curiosity about it and I had to end up getting it. Um, Endless Ocean, just because I think the concept is kind of neat. Um, I actually have a Fling Smash, but I got that simply because I bought... This This came with a Wii, a Wii Motion Plus controller. And I think at the time it was selling, the package with Fling Smash was selling for cheaper than it would be for me to just buy a Wii Motion Plus separately. So I got the game. Kirby's Epic Yarn, just because I really loved the art in this. I think that looks fantastic. Um, you know, and the kids, good for the kids. Klonoa was one that I really would like to get the original, but I ended up you know, picking this up just so I'd be able to play it. The Zeldas, the only Mario Party with another Mario Party, I think, coming soon. Medal of Honor, uh, when I picked this up, it actually rounded out, I think it was either the second or the last or second to last uh, Medal of Honor title in my collection to kind of complete that. I think I have them all now across PC and major consoles. Not, I don't, not counting handhelds. I don't have those, uh, with the exception of the PSP games. Um, this guy, I just love the art that Vanillaware does, and I was hoping that this would get a HD release, but it hasn't. doesn't look like it's going to happen, so I went ahead and picked it up on the Wii. Um, Okami. I actually have this on the PS2, but I wanted to try the Wii controls. And also, there's this neat little thing here about this. I don't know if you can see it on there, but yes, that is the IGN logo. Uh, when they released the Wii version of Okami, they must have ripped the art from a, a an IGN website because it's got the watermark on the on the art. Here's another uh, roguelike fun. At least I I don't know how fun it is, but you know if you like that kind of stuff. Um, the Super Mario Collection. I beat the uh, first game in that just recently. The two Galaxies. This was this was the Nintendo redeeming themselves from the trash that was Super Mario Sunshine. I shouldn't say trash. It's still a good game, but relative to the other Mario games, I view it as the uh, worst of the of the bunch. Um, I like the Trauma Center. I I. Loved the one on the DS, but it was so dang hard I could never beat it. Um, but I figured I'd pick up the ones on the Wii. And then, of course, got some uh, other random stuff. Zack and Wiki was just sort of a odd one to pick up that it seemed that the reviews liked it and nobody bought it, and I picked it up. I, from what I've played, it seemed pretty fun to me, so I don't know why people have ignored it other than the fact that it's new IP on a on a console and people just weren't familiar with it. Uh, and that's the entire Wii collection that I've got. Alrighty, thanks.